All right, so you've done your research. You love Jupiter and the surrounding area. You got some friends down here, some family. Maybe you vacation, you like the homes, you like the beach, you like the weather, and maybe you're thinking about calling this place home, but you need to know, what are you gonna do with yourself once you're down here? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper into living it up. I'm kidding, I won't do that again, but living it up down here in South Florida. So if that is interesting to you, stay tuned. All right, so that's right. You're thinking about making Jupiter, the surrounding area, your home, and what an awesome choice. My name is Andy Johnson. I live here with my family. I absolutely love it. I'm with eXp Realty. And listen, every day we've got people just like you that want to make this place their home. So whether you're thinking about moving today, tomorrow, next week, or even next year, make sure you get a hold of us. Drop us a line. Give me a call. Send an email. Message in a bottle. We do live on the ocean. Um, and that way we can get back to you and answer all of your questions. But let's get into it. Today we are going to talk about about five amazing things to do in South Florida, things that you have to do when you're down here, and I can't wait to share those with you. I am gonna give you my favorite one last, so you gotta stay tuned until then for that one, uh, but let's jump right into it. And I don't think some of these are gonna be any surprises, including number one, and that is the beaches. We've got beaches up and down, but what you need to know are what are some cool beaches that you should check out. I've got a lot of favorites. Juno is my, one, of them, uh, one of them, excuse me, I especially love to go there with my puppy, because uh, it is a dog-friendly beach, but a couple others. Lake Worth Beach is a really, really awesome place to check out. They've got a great pier out there. You can walk out on the pier for a buck. You can fish out on the pier for three bucks. Um, I think it's something like November through February. They do two bonfires a month, roast s'mores. That's awesome. They've got Benny's on the beach on the pier as well, which is a great place to grab some food. They've got great drinks and just an awesome place to look over the water because one thing that's a little bit different about down here is we don't have a ton of boardwalks and restaurants actually sitting on the ocean and Benny's is a great one. Another great beach that you've got to check out is Delray. Um, Delray Beach is three miles of pristine water. Um, they've been named top beach in Florida, or maybe even in the US a couple of times, I believe, um, but absolutely amazing water down there. Great place to hung, hang out, real young, real vibrant, um, happening spot to be. I probably shouldn't be allowed to go there anymore, but it is fun. And then on top of that, you've got Atlantic Ave, which basically runs right into the beach. And Atlantic Ave, which we've talked about before, is this awesome place, tons of shops, tons of restaurants, and again, you run right into the beach. It does not get any better than that. Um, you can also do a ton of water sports down there. Delray Water Sports is a great place to check out if you're interested in renting any equipment, um, diving, snorkeling, you know, scuba, uh, things like that. So beach is definitely one of the number one things you gotta check out, and those are two awesome places to go. So here we go. Number two on our list, again, not gonna be a big surprise, and definitely one of my favorite things, and that's golf. I mean, Florida is a golf mecca, and really it's almost difficult to tell you where to go or where to play. I mean, there's so many private options, which once you move down here, you're gonna meet people that live at those clubs, so you get to play at the clubs that not everybody else gets to go to, and that is a blast. But we have a ton of public courses as well, and that's changing. There's actually a new course um, in West Palm that actually is an old track that's getting to, uh, getting ready to be reopened, at least when I'm shooting this video, that's gonna be a blast. I loved that track before. It just kind of was a goat pasture, but it's supposed to be awesome now. Um, another great time is there is a par three out on Palm Beach overlooking uh, the water. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, great place to check out and just a lot of fun. There's another course down on the water in Lake Worth as well. Um, sometimes I don't like to say it, but there's this really cool course that is actually built on an old landfill. You can't smell anything. It's all good, but there's hills. And folks, we don't have a lot of elevation changes on our golf courses for the most part, kind of in South Florida. So that's a really cool place to check out and play too. But I think without surprise, number two thing that you got to do, and, and truthfully, one of my favorite things is getting out there and playing golf at all of the amazing courses that we have. So let's move right on down the list and go to number three. That's right, so here we go. Number three is dining. Now I know you're sitting there going, Andy, that's dumb. Um, dining or going out to eat is not an activity, but it is here. I am telling you, it is. 
we have so many amazing restaurants that you need to check out. It is an event. And there are so many different places where you can go and do little tastings. So it's not like you just go eat and then you leave, you go and you grab an appetizer and then you go grab an appetizer over here and then you get a drink over there and then you grab dinner over there and then you get dessert over there. It's an event. Um, I love so many restaurants down here that I can't even do a list. I, I really could probably shoot a 20 minute video just naming off restaurants that you should go check out. Because again, we're talking Talking. I mean, you can even drive down to Miami if you want, and there's so many cool places to go. I love Havana, though. If you want some local spots, um, it's Cuban place down on Forest Hill, totally worth checking out. Okeechobee Steakhouse, if you want steak, um, is one of the oldest steakhouses, I believe, if, not, if in, not just in South Florida, like in all of Florida. So that's definitely cool to go to as well. And I believe um, they give you a free steak on your birthday, or at least they used to. But seriously, dining is really, something that is world class here. And between the dining and the breweries and the bars, I mean, you could have things to do for years. So listen, folks, just, just so you know too, these videos are obviously for you, they're my opinion. And if you like these videos, go ahead, click that like button now, ring that bell so you can know whenever we post new content and you can be in the know about South Florida. And one other thing too, hey, I would love to hear if you've been down here, family, friends, travel, whatever. If you have some favorite restaurants, go ahead and, and post them in the comments below. I, I'm always looking to try new places um, and hear about places that I haven't heard about. And listen, if you call me, I'll actually tell you a couple of my favorites that I refuse to even put in here um, because I just don't want them to get that busy, right? So let's move on down the list. All right, so I gotta say, Number four wasn't exactly my idea, but these are for everyone, and my wife definitely gets input in everything that I do. So number four is shopping. I'm not a great shopper. As a matter of fact, don't ever take me shopping, um, but it is amazing. Um, from the malls that we have down here, you know, Palm Beach Gardens has an amazing mall with you know Chanel, Louis Vuitton, You've got a Tesla in the mall, um, a Robert Graham, a Lululemon. The list goes on and on. You have another mall very similar down in Boca that is, is just as, as massive. You've got a mall down in Aventura, which is amazing. Watch stores, jewelry stores. And this is completely negating all the boutiques that we have throughout South Florida. Not to mention, like you ever want an awesome trip, go over to Lake, or I'm sorry, Worth Ave on Palm Beach. Talk about some high-end stuff where it's really cool to walk around. Um, it is a great place to go. The shopping is second to none here. It, it truly is. There's so many different places that you can go. Um, there's lots of small shops and local places, you know, surf shops. I, I mean, seriously, no matter what you want, we got it. So that's why shopping comes in at number four, even though typically it, it wouldn't be my number four, it'd be like my number 57 or 157 or whatever. So, all right, there we go. This has taken us, now we're getting into it. We're gonna go into my favorite, here we go. Number five, so I've gotta read this to you because I will never get it out of my mouth um, right otherwise, but my number five down here, truthfully, is all of the outdoor parks, um, botanical gardens, preserves, and wildlife refuges that you can go to. And I wanted to tell you one, but this is what I, I was gonna tell you I have to read because I'd never get it. Um, and, and one that I would definitely check out. It's the Arthur R. Marshall National Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge in Boynton Beach. So say that five times fast, but it's got hunting, fishing, bird watching, trails, it's absolutely stunning. It's an amazing, amazing park. Another one of my favorites is John D. MacArthur, um, which is up here on the northern part of the county. It's so beautiful. Um, it's natural. It's serene. A ton of water sports there that you can get into. And it's just such a great place to hang out. You know, the really great thing about parks down here is it's, it's busy, right? Like we have a lot of people, a lot of restaurants, a lot of things to do. And so sometimes you get a little detached from nature in, in all honesty. And I like to hop into those things. I'm a, an old Midwesterner, you know? So I like, I like my nature and I like to hang out at all the different parks here. I, they're, they're truly stunning places to go. And we have a lot of different options to choose from depending on what you're wanting to see. So that is one of my absolute favorite things to do. Now listen guys, I know that this list, this particular list, you may be going, Andy, we knew those, but listen, while this list is covering some big things you may have known about, 
it's the small ones. It's knowing what beaches to go to, knowing which parks to go to, knowing which restaurants to check out first. That's where I really want to help you. So if you're, if you're coming down and you're making a trip and you need any recommendations on, on where to go, please reach out to us so we can share some of these places that really make our area so special. And again, we're here all the time to help people just like you locate that perfect home. Whether you're looking for a primary residence down here that's gonna be your forever home, whether you're looking for a second home that you're just gonna come vacation in, whether you want an investment home that you're gonna vacation in and, and rent out, all of those things that we can handle. And it's about identifying the best location for you. Cause I got to tell you to Cuesta is different from Jupiter and it's different from Boynton is different from Boca is different from Stewart. So you got to have someone that understands those differences, understands what you're looking for and can put you in the place that you're really going to enjoy. And you know what, that's what we're here to do. So again, if we do anything for you, please reach out, please leave any comments below about other videos you may like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching today. See you later.